welcome to Geeked Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, I want to use some splines in our creation so we can see um, in a way I'm using. Hopefully, it will help you to utilize a little bit more from them and see how they can benefit some of your work. So, small kind of tips based on the work experience. So, let's go first. We'll create terrain, and I'm creating standard terrain. Next, I'm going to also a little bit shrink this terrain so we'll have it uh, for the purpose of tutorial, maybe not so large ones. Okay, and the next I want to a little bit shorter. There you go. So what I want to do, I want to create the river and I want to create the plants on the side of the river. We can do this every with the splines but here's another way to do this. So instead of drawing splines directly on the terrain, what I'm going to do is create a spline, but you see right here, creating, and I will create on the side. So I want it to be total flat, total on the surface. You can do this, of course, here, but this way we can see a little bit more visible. And of course, I want to maybe kind of going not straight, a little bit twisted, so start from here. I'm just going to create something like this. Okay, when we're done, we can go ahead. Let's click OK for now. We highlight this spline, and at this moment, I want to move this right, maybe around here over terrain. Of course, at any time when I create it, I can take any point and I can modify, readjust this point if I need it directly on the terrain, the position for my spline. The, at this point, when I think I'm done with this spline, what I want to do, I want to copy and paste. I want to create another spline like this. And let's move this little bit over spline. We'll reuse this later. The our original, and let me go ahead rename this maybe as a river okay and this one actually I want to go and rename as a plants okay so we'll take our river we we'll right click and go to edit object and options what I want to do it is to rain effect enable so you notice we need to select terrain, we'll go click, and now we have it to the level of the ground, we cut through the terrain. So for the river, I want to increase to maybe 6 meters, and I do not like kind of how it's cutting currently, so let's edit filter. And to edit filter, actually what I want to do, I want to shrink those two a little bit closer. And create a little bit smoother right here on the edges. Slightly adjusting. And just shape profile right on the end. So in this case, we'll take our main camera, move slightly above. Let's look down so you can see we have it, this edge is a little bit smoother. <laughs> Doesn't look so. Um, yeah, let's go this angle. Okay, so we have it kind of smooth, not th that um, sharp. Way. Also, we can, of course, just even reuse a little bit more so we can preview. And I'm not going putting water yet, but what I want to do it is create plants. We of course can do with other inside this plane spline, but right here the one that we save it. So I'm going to hold Alt button and drag so we duplicate it. And you notice this one will be on one side, okay. and another will be another. But I don't want to be on the ground, so I'll, I'll erase so I can see easy. And this is nice because we don't need to lay on the ground to make plants. It's plants will 
populating below on the surface but again it's well based on the group position okay so let me see right here yeah we have it a little bit different so let me go actually because I'm modified let me copy and before I even move it what I want to do I want to actually go and disable this effect Okay, now I'm going to select the river, bring a little bit up so I can preview and move it. There you go. Okay, maybe go right here. You notice sometimes we don't have exactly the same shape. This is kind of nice because on that case you can go to specific point. And this is what I like it because you don't want to necessarily go by the edge sometimes you want to take your ecosystem and you know maybe just a position slightly this way There you go. So you can see how you can start readjusting plans going in the area you want it. Okay, so we'll go grab this one, copy paste. We can move this to another side and of course readjust base it for this side. And on this case, I want actually open a little bit more on top right here. And we'll take these points. Just be sure. Set right here. Let's move a little bit. We adjust our normals. Okay, and right here I actually don't want to be on top. I want actually going little bit below and we'll just slip right here so you notice I created my normals at this point I can go ahead and modify it I will set as an ecosystem next we'll go to populate with ecosystem open okay for this example I will just use plum tree we'll click OK reduce scale and increase and you notice how it's populated just right here on the ground so it's kind of nice let's see if we can populate even more okay as well additional we can apply it for example influence radius let's go options right here maybe this is okay Just populate with a little bit more. Okay, actually, you know what? Right here, maybe want to pop up a little bit higher. So we'll go a little bit to the edges, and uh, again, right here, a little bit on the edge. What we want to do? It's uh, going in the options. And let's see surface offset fall out a little bit and lean out so they will be going kind of a little bit over on the side a little bit hanging over almost so with lean out we can do this way and let's increase influence and shrink on the edge a little bit more okay the next what I want to do for this I want to click and actually Going to share this layer. Okay, let's click OK. So we'll go OK again. We'll go to open another material. Click it, populate it right here, and we'll go to share our material. Okay, we can actually delete this one, it doesn't share properly in this case, but same things. 
if you save it other ecosystem you can just uh, repopulate it but in this case because it's a little bit far away actually what I want to do I want leave it more on a shrink a bit on more on a radius so it's kind of spread more this way let's pop up our density populate here and maybe increase this one to the actual seven meters a little bit even more we'll see how far it spread and seven meters going about right okay so we'll click ok okay let's click ok there this is our terrain and we'll just apply some other terrain and again this is just example of using um River. Take our main camera. Okay, let's go ahead preview. And you can see right here we created with a spline readjusting again. It's what kind of I like to do this way. On this case, when you do with the splines and readjusting, repositioning. You have a little bit more control over where do you want those planes going and of course right here we can preview easy our splines and let me go on to actually this one so and for example if i want to edit this spline i can always let me bring this a little bit up i can go inside and add additional points yep, so we can select the lines and we can insert additional points if we need it so thank you for watching this tutorial from Geeket Play Studio please remember visit us on the web is www.geeketplay.com